In this video, we will test our configuration and ensure that global server load balancing works based on the location of the user. So as a recap, we have our website at routehub.org or www.routehub.org. So any user located in the US should be redirected to our US server farm, which should be our LTM appliance doing local server load balancing between US Server 1 and US Server 2. Any user located in the Asia continent like China, Japan, and India should be redirected to our Japan web server. And all other users like in Europe should be redirected to our UK web server. Let's start our testing and we'll begin with a US based client. So I have a computer that has different VPN connections that allows us to connect from different parts of the world to do our testing. So let's go to that client now, and this client is located in the US. So let's see what happens if we go to www.routehub.org. You will see that we are redirected to the US site. Can we see US Server 1? So, so far, so good. Now let's test from a client located in Singapore, which means that they should be redirected to the Japan web server. So once again, we'll go up here and we'll type in www.routehub.org. And here you will see that we are redirected to the Japan web server. And finally, let's test from a client located in the UK, which should be redirected to the UK web server, which is the default behavior if there isn't a topology match. So once again, up here, we'll go ahead and type in www.routehub.org. And we are redirected to the UK web server. Fantastic. So everything is working as expected. But in the next video, I want to talk about the server object IP addresses and the translation IP addresses, which are important in production environments.